What's up, my fellow small business supporters? It's Savvy, your gay aunt from the 80s, here to test out my brand new bisexual lighting. How does it look? Do I look beautiful? Is it a little too orange? Do I need to adjust the colors a little bit? Potentially. Anyway, currently, while you're watching this, I am out of town, hence why this video is just an upload rather than a premiere with me in the chat. Sorry I'm not in the chat. Hi, I miss you guys. I love you guys. In the interest of still getting out a Friday video and still talking about a much requested topic, I decided to do a short reaction style video and I hope you guys enjoy it today. There's some stuff that's been going on lately that's been a little sus, little sus as we call it. And this goes well beyond the game Among Us. In fact, I hate playing Among Us because my OCD ass can't stand to lie because it just triggers the shit out of me. So no, I will not be playing Among Us with any of you. I'm very sorry. However, we will still be talking about some very sus shit that's going on with one of our old friends, Heidi Powell. I say one of our old friends as if I've ever talked about Heidi Powell on this channel before. <laughs> I just realized I've literally never talked about her on this channel before. We did a whole week on her on Your Morning Guru. Go ahead, check that out, subscribe to that, whatever. I, yeah, I talked about her. I like briefly mentioned her when I reviewed Dave Hollis's book, Built Through Courage, because she's dating him, but I never talked about her. That's fucking wild. I guess we've all discovered something today. Anyway, get you some nuts, let's do it. Get you some nuts. There was lots of memes. Makes me wonder if I should pick up lesbianism. Chicago. You guys asked for it. Hey everyone, I'm Savvy. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome for the first time. I'm Savvy. This is Savvy Writes Books. This is a channel where we talk about books and business. Today we are going to be talking about a somewhat scammy looking business conference and what is going on there. We've got another Boss Babe conference this time to talk about and that is the Show Up Summit run by fitness influencer Heidi Powell. Show Up Summit, when you abbreviate it, it is sus. I find that very interesting considering that Dave Hollis had attempted to run a conference called Congruent Conference, which abbreviates to ConCon, -con, like welcome con artists. Guys, this was literally a joke that we made in the book Cancel Sean Boston. In me and RK's book Cancel Sean Boston, we had the business guru character Elise Shiloh runs this conference called ArtCon and their tagline is welcome con artists and it's a joke because all the artists take it seriously and want to go to this conference to showcase their art, but in reality Elise is a scammer and that's why it says con artist and it's a joke, it's art con. Like we made that as a stupid fucking joke when we released our book um, almost a year ago now. And then Dave literally comes out with ConCon -con, and then Heidi literally comes out with Suscon. I've gotta say guys, life imitates art. Oscar Wilde said it, Aristotle said it, and it's true. Now, since the person we're going to be talking about today, Heidi Powell, is in fact a fitness influencer, and as you guys know, I've been getting a lot into fitness lately. I can't recommend anything fitness related as I am not a trainer, I am not a dietitian. However, I will say that today's sponsor is something that has helped me pump my ripped ass body full of protein and feel much, much stronger. So let's go into the sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon, a high protein, low carb brand of fun breakfast cereals with a variety of tasty flavors. Magic Spoon cereals have been with me throughout my entire process of getting back into working out during my surgery recovery. I'm now back at the gym with my trainer once a week, plus working out at home again, and it's been super important to me to get extra protein into my meals every day. So starting the day off with a high protein breakfast feels amazing and gets me on the right track every day. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs per serving. They also have about 140 calories per serving and are keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. You can build your very own variety box and choose from Magic Spoon's best-selling cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cookies and cream, maple waffle, blueberry, and cinnamon, plus the newly reformulated honey nut flavor that will now be added to the Magic Spoon permanent collection. Lately, I've been loving eating the fruity flavor, and since Magic Spoon recently sent me a box of the new honey nut flavor, I'm really starting to enjoy that one as well. It's delicious, guys. So click the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal. You can build your very own variety box and use my code SAVVY for $5 off. And since Magic Spoon is now adding Honey Nut to their permanent collection, make sure to add that to your custom box and try it out as well. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason at all, they'll refund you your money, no questions asked. And also for my Canadian and British viewers, don't forget, Magic Spoon is also now shipping to Canada and to the UK. So click the link below and use the code SAVVY 
Savvy for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash Savvy to save $5 on your order today. Thank you again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. Also, thank you to all my Patreon supporters for consistently supporting this channel and making that all happen. Now let's get sus. So for some background information, for those of you who don't know, Heidi Powell is a fitness influencer who's been in the fitness influencer game for a pretty long time. She was previously married to Chris Powell, and when the two of them were a couple, they ran a show on ABC called Extreme Weight Loss, which is probably both of their biggest claim to fame. Since that show's ending, Heidi has continued to promote her own fitness programs on her Instagram page and on her YouTube and just on social media in general. She's run a lot of those fitness challenge competitions. She's your run of the mill fitness influencer, basically. The reason that she came upon my radar is that, as you guys know, on this channel, we have often reviewed a lot of books by Rachel Hollis, Dave Hollis, that whole family. And since Rachel and Dave's divorce in 2020, Dave has since begun dating Heidi Powell. I believe the two of them have been together for about a year at this point. And since then, the two of them have been running fitness challenges of their own and things like that. She's been bringing him into the bodybuilding world. He's been bringing her into the business guru scammer world. It's a match made in hell. And now to continue with that, Heidi has decided to run a conference of her own. Shortly after Dave's ConCon failed congruent conference had to be shut down due to, I don't know what, I want to say low attendance, but I don't think an official reason was ever given. But after that happened, Heidi decided, well, what if I try to run a conference with a weirdly suspicious sounding name? What if I literally called it SusCon? That's not going to make anyone, it's like, why not call your conference this conference is not a scam? I'm going to make ScamCon. Savvy's conference for all members. That's what I'm gonna call it, ScamCon. We're, we're gonna do that. The The tickets cost $69.69. What you do is you go on PayPal and you PayPal me $69.69 and in return, I give you nothing. It's ScamCon. What is up, SusCon? All right, at the time that I'm filming this video, SusCon just happened. So this was April 4th through April 6th in Arizona. I'm filming this on April 8th. So by the time this comes out next week, it's going to be outdated at this point. And I believe the channel Kia from Kia's World is gonna do like an actual in-depth review. But guys, I- I-, I filmed with the Brene Brown review video. If you didn't see it last week, it was two hour fucking documentary. And then I went out of town. So I'm sorry for being late on things, but we have new and timely videos coming next week. Anyway, let's talk about SusCon. This amazing three day event includes, what do I get? What do I get for SusCon? Finding you. I can find myself? Thought I was right here. Oh shit. SusCon is getting existential. Learn to love and accept all the parts of who you really are. Does that include if who I am is an anti-MLM YouTuber? Because Heidi and Dave have made live streams indicating that I'm not supposed to love who I am if I'm a critic of them. Does that include loving myself if I'm someone who follows Dave but don't already own his book? Why do you follow me if you don't already own a book? I do own his book and I don't follow him, so I'm not doing anything wrong. Creating you. you can do some Frankenstein shit. Learn to set boundaries and identify what's going to create the person you want to be. Dream big. I'm sorry, what? What the fuck does that mean? Is this like the Mel Robbins, give yourself permission to dream big? By the way, Mel Robbins video coming next week. I'm finally diving into her. Becoming you. Dude, one of our commenters on Your Morning Guru left the best comment. So Dave Hollis in his video about ConCon Con was talking about becoming and he was like, you need to come to Congruent Conference. You need to come for Congruent Conference. You need to come on Congruent Conference. You need to become. This is about the process of becoming. Someone left us a comment that said ABC always becoming. Create the roadmap to becoming the person you created. What the fuck does this mean? <laughs> okay, so I'm like creating a version of myself in The Sims. I'm like going into The Sims and adjusting my body so that my biceps are extra huge and my boobs are extra small, which by the way, my boobs are, are fairly small compared to what they used to be. So I'm pretty happy about that. I just bought a bra recently. I'm still a fucking double D cup, you guys. <laughs> my boobs are record. This is my biggest regret that I didn't do pre-surgery. You wanna hear it, this is off topic. You wanna hear it real quick? quick. Before surgery, I didn't know my actual real bra size. I was wearing the wrong bra size because it's very hard to find well-fitting bras up above like an F cup size, right? I was supposed to be a 34K. I was a K cup. I could have dressed up as a Keurig machine for Halloween and had both my boobs be literal K cup, but I didn't. Instead, I was Jessica Rabbit, which 
not gonna lie, was fucking hot. Anyway, so we're gonna create a version of ourselves in The Sims, we're gonna sew ourselves up like Frankenstein, create an entirely new human being, and then we are going to become that human being, we are gonna implant our consciousness into it. This does sound kinda sus, I don't think science has gone this far yet, Heidi. Plus, we'll have an amazingly fun time! Well, thank god it's not boring. Thank god these incredibly vague things we're gonna do are gonna be fun and not incredibly boring because they have absolutely no specifics included of what we could possibly be doing. Where to stay? With prices! Okay. So the price, I just want to be clear, the price of this conference does not include lodging and food. And I want to point this out because the, uh, last week on Your Morning Guru, we followed Blogilates for a week. And we had, our, our take on Blogilates was a little bit mixed. There were some things we liked about her, some things we didn't, some things we thought were a little bit scammy and misleading, and some things that we thought were she was honest about. You know, it was a little bit all over the place. You can watch that week on Your Morning Guru. But anyway, one of the things we talked about was the fact that she wanted to run a conference at one point, and the tickets for her conference were $1,400 hundred dollars. However, after looking at it, we realized that that price included the hotel, it included like three meals a day or something, like it included a lot. So we were like, actually comparing it like that you get the conference, you get, uh, you know, the personal training and workout stuff, and then you also get the lodging and the food. That's actually kind of a good price. Like that's a deal. Uh, but in this case, in this one, we are not, uh, we are not getting hotel, travel, lodging, any of that covered. So these prices will be on top of this. And what are the ticket prices for Suscon? $1,197 or for the VIP, $3,697. I'd like to point out the fact that both of these prices end in a seven. They both end in a seven. If you haven't already, guys, I've recommended this video so many times, but uh, it's one of the videos that inspired me to become a YouTuber. I highly recommend checking out Mike Winnett's video that he did about the contrapreneur, right? Where he talked about going to a bunch of these conferences where everything was a price that ended in a seven. That's a thing that business gurus do. It's supposed to trick your brain into, uh, for some reason, if you end it, if you end the price, like if she made this actually $1,200, you would read that as $1,200. But for some reason, when you end something in 97, it tricks your brain to like looking at this number instead of at these numbers. I don't know how or why this works. Most people will see this as $1,100 instead of $1,200. Similar here, most people see this as $3,600 instead of $3,700 because it ended in the 97. Why do people, do I don't understand how or why it works, but every fucking business guru does it. The $1,197 ticket includes attending all day, three days of the event and participate in all the events. Well, I sure hope it includes the event and the activity for that fucking price, what else would it include? Remember, S ScamCon, a Savvy's conference for all members. Pay me $69.69 on PayPal, and for that ticket price, you will get literally nothing. That's actually not a scam because I'm upfront about the fact that I'm not giving you anything. Isn't that funny how my ScamCon is less of a scam? <laughs> um, I also like the grammar here. Attending all three days of the event and participate in all activities. There's no parallelism in these verbs here. Why not attending all three days of the event and participating in all activities? Or you could say it includes, right? You could say it includes attending, that's a gerund form, right? Which was when you take a uh, present progressive form of a verb and you turn it into a functional noun within a sentence. Attending, so you could say this includes, and then the object of includes would be two gerund forms, right? Attending all three days of the event and participating in all activities. There you go. That's proper parallelism. Or you could say you will do these things and then you could have the verb form instead, but both of them would have to be present tense verb form. So you could say you will attend all three days of the event and participate in all activities. Heidi, you should have hired me as an editor for this. I would have made this site better. With ticket prices like this, you can definitely afford to hire a fucking editor, dude. All right, let's look at the VIP ticket and what this includes. Attending all three days of the event and participate in all activities. Once again, lack of parallelism because she clearly just copy and pasted it from over here. VIP lunch with Heidi and Dave during the event. Exclusive Sunday night dinner and party. Red carpet airport transportation. One-on-one -on -one coaching call after the event. Wednesday lunch and event send off. So for paying three times as much as you paid for the regular event ticket, you get a VIP lunch. Uh, so that's just one meal. One meal's not worth a couple thousand dollars. I don't care where you're eating. And then, oh, sorry, it's a, and a dinner. It's, it's two dinners. You get two, or one lunch and one dinner. You get two meals, you get two meals. Red carpet airport transportation. What does, like, does that mean they, they transport you from the airport? So this includes transportation from the airport is the idea. But like getting from the airport to the location is like the easiest part of all of this. What are you talking about? You get one coaching call after, yeah, these are all bullshit things. This is not worth it. Ready to show up. 
up, ready to show up for D's nuts. So a bunch of people on the subreddit r slash Hollis Uncensored have been posting pictures and such from Suscon. This is what uh, a few people recommended that I look here for this. I have posted on this subreddit before. It's uh, it's an interesting place, but they, there have been a lot of people posting photos uh, from Suscon and I thought maybe if I could look at some of the stuff on Reddit, I could potentially like understand what was going on. What? Oh, hey, there's Mac. What's up, Mac? Uh, I could potentially understand what was happening at Suscon. Like, what does it mean that we're creating new versions of ourselves? What does it mean that we're discovering who we are? Like, what is actually happening? I'm like, for those ticket prices, you better, who are the speakers? What's happening? What's even going on? And it looks like even with all the stuff that Heidi and Dave have been posting on Instagram, it's still pretty vague what's actually happening. It's just like dance parties, uh, taking photos, some keynote speeches from some people who have done like fitness transformations and things like that. Like, is this a fitness conference? Are they, are you gonna get personal training sessions? Or like, what are, what are people even doing? I'm so lost. Then Heidi and Dave are dancing. Like, is the point of this conference just meet people that you idolize? Is this basically just like going to a meet and greet and spending money to meet celebrities? Because if you want to do that, like that's up to you. Oh, what's up? Look at that bisexual lighting. That's better than mine. Damn. Heidi's dance party has better bisexual lighting than I do. I'm fucking jealous. It's the only reason I criticize Heidi. I'm jealous of her lighting. <laughs> then I also found this on Heidi's website called Show Up Bundle. So this isn't the Show Up Summit. This isn't Suscon. This is Show Up Bundle. So this is Sub. <laughs> so Heidi has Subcon. Now we need Dave to make another men's conference and call it Dave's Only Men's Conference Domcon. <laughs> Guys, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm not done. I'll never be done. Ready to show up for yourself this year? So what does this include? So this isn't for the conference. This is about developing a healthier mindset and mind the gold that you already have within. I don't think I want to reach deep into my own body. That's not my fetish. If it were, I'd be at Subcon. <laughs> So this looks like a coaching program for outside of the conference, but based on the same kind of thing. Five step-by-step -step lessons to help you create momentum and confidence in your life. So it's all about building habits and all of that. All about uh, a course on goal setting. How is this How is this worth? Join now, only $4.99. Well, at least you didn't end it in the seven. So it's $500 normally. That It, it, was ne it would have never been $1,095. She made that up just to falsely cut down the price. But either way, how is this worth that? How's this worth that much money? For that much money, I'm planning to go get a custom tailored suit to show off my new titties when I'm being your classy butch tomboy GF. Who's ready? Who's ready for Domcon? <laughs> the secrets of goal setting. Does she normally sell a goal setting course for $400? Because that's a lot to learn how to set goals. I wrote a chapter in Savvy Business Owner on how to set goals. That's all I know about goal setting. And that's one chapter out of like 20 chapters in a book that I sell for like less than $15. So linked in the description below. Oh, signed copies of Savvy Business Owner are coming soon. I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know when those are out. I like this too. This is more life imitates art shit. Here, in the bend and not break part of the course, she has manage expectations. We literally put that in the in the beginning of Cancel Sean Boston when we had the quotes from celebrities at the beginning. We had Gabby Hanna saying manage your expectations as a quote at the beginning of our book. I'm starting to think that Heidi read Cancel Sean Boston. If she did, that'd be fucking hilarious. And no, Oh, Heidi, Elise Shiloh was not based on you. Elise is French Canadian, okay? She's based on no one in particular other than our uh, fan fiction about Degrassi actors. <laughs> Make your dream life a reality with a clear plan. So this shit is so vague. The vagueness of that is the vagueness of this is what's driving me crazy. Like, if I'm gonna buy something from someone, I want to know what I'm getting. Like, she's telling me that I'm getting videos, but they're all about these vague topics. Like, don't forget to breathe. I'm sorry. Do you normally forget to breathe? Are you doing breath play as part of some? <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to stop, I need to stop, I need to be done. I can't handle myself anymore. I am not mature enough for this. So what did you guys think of Suscon? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I apologize that this video was just me shit posting on everyone today rather than doing a well-researched and well-thought-out deep dive. We'll get back to more of those next week after I get back to Chicago where I belong. I will see you guys again this week on Your Morning Guru starting on Monday, 7 a.m. Central. In the meantime, keep on supporting small business this is and stay sussy <laughs> have a good day hit you some nuts there was lots of memes makes me wonder if i should pick up lesbianism chicago you guys asked for it